Hey guys, so today I'm going to go through and set up a new profile in the Cura 3.2. Uh, recently I did a Windows update and the update caused my Windows to crash and I had to reload Windows, which means now I have to reload all my software and I lost all my settings when it comes to my other, all the printers I've got. So today for an example I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, Me Creator 2, it's by GTech. Um, and I'll show you how to create a new profile in Cura 3.2. Um, now, Tivo Tarantula was a real easy one because it actually is listed. It's a, uh, it's very easy to add a Tivo Tarantula, and there's many other printers you can't add. But when it comes to the GTEC printers, they are not pre-listed in Cura. So let's go ahead and jump into this and set up a new profile. So what we do is we we'll go to Settings. I'm going to go to Printer, Add a Printer. As you can see, you have all the Ultimakers. You have Custom, and then you have Other. Under other, if I go down here, you should be able to see TiVo Tarantula. So that was really easy to set up. Thing is, they don't have anything for GTEC. So I could choose another printer from out of this that's something like it, like a Wong Hao or something like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, ahead and go to custom, custom FDM. I'm going to call it GTEC Me Creator 2. Add the printer. Now what I want to do, there we go. So now what I got to do is I got to go in here and do these settings. Now I know it's 160 millimeters by 160 millimeters by 160 millimeters. So we have our X width, we have our Y depth, and we have our Z height. It is a rectangular build plate. It is a heated bed. It does use Marlin firmware. And then when it comes to print head settings, I've never really played with this, um, but later on I'll get into that at a later time. Uh, let's see here, extruder one. Let's see what that has to do. Nozzle size: a 0.4 millimeter layer height, or 0.4 millimeter nozzle size is what I use. I uh, want to change this to 1.75 because my machine is a 1.75 machine, and it has the offsets for Z and Y. That, once again, is something I've never messed with, but I can look into that in the future. So we're going to go ahead and finish that out. Now, over here, if you notice those Polymax, which I have no idea why it did that, we're going to go ahead and switch over to PLA. And then from here, we can set up whatever we want to do. Most of the time for the Meat Creator 2, I, set up, I do it at 1, 0.15 layer height. That's where I found is gives me the best time compared to quality. And then from there, I can go through and start changing settings. Now, if you come over into this part and you find that there's settings that are missing, all you have to do is click this little gear, and that adds, gets you over to your settings where you can add things to it. There is an insane amount of settings that Cura has now. There's more in 3.2 than there was in 3.1, and just way more that used to be from 15.4, I think it was. <laughs> They are slowly but surely building it up to the point where it's almost like uh, working with Simplify 3D or some, some program like that. It's just an insane amount of settings. So let's just take a look here. Uh, I've added some over when I did the TiVo Tarantula, so it probably already included them in. But we have our layer height. We have our initial layer height, which that's very important because you want to have your initial layer height a little bit taller so that if your bed is a little bit off kilter, it will make up the difference. So I always start with a 0.3 layer height, and then it'll go down to 0.15 after that. Line width, 0.4 millimeter, which is the width of my nozzle. Uh, infill line width, that's where you set. Uh, skirt brim line width is the same thing. Initial layer line width, this right here, I usually go about 115. That way it extrudes a little bit more material to help make up the difference on that 0.3 millimeter uh, layer height for the initial layer. Wall thickness, I usually print at 1.2. Same way it comes to top and bottom. There we go. Fill density, 10%. That's good for now. Uh, infill pattern, my personal favorite anymore is zigzag. It uses less material, but uh, it really does a great job. 
gradual insets and fill steps this is one of those settings that they've kind of included and I have no idea what to do so I just leave it alone print temperature you can want if you want to you can have it where you can have initial uh, see default uh, printing temperature printing temperature printing temperature initial layer so if you want your first layer to be hotter than the rest of it or cooler you can adjust it if you want to do that uh, let's see that's so far it's looking like all my settings are going to be there diameter is 1.75 that's correct flow rate 100 percent that's what i always print at uh, enable retraction that's very important if you once again if you don't see that there when you go to this you just hit that little gear you can go over here and you can change it all the way over here luckily it looks like it's already there we have retraction distance okay so this right here was from the TiVo 6.5 is great for a Bowden tube but not for a direct drive like the Mi Creator 2 has so I'd set this for a 3.5 retraction speed 25 for the direct drive I normally go 45 and retraction minimal travel I usually go about three millimeters anything less than that it's not going to retract anything three millimeters or more of movement then it will retract have print speed at 60 millimeters per second that's fair enough outer wall speeds 40 that's that's good I usually go 35 to 40 somewhere in there travel speed 120 is too fast once again this is for the TiVo tarantula I would want to bump this down to about an 80 uh, initial layers speed 30 that's fair enough I usually print between 20 to 25 30 is fair enough the slower speed gives you more bed adhesion that's the most important thing combing mode I have it set at all that's fine avoid parts when printed or avoid printed parts when traveling yes Z hop when retracted that's very important to me I like doing that one millimeter I don't need to do that 0.5 is more than sufficient <clears throat> naval park cooling yes fan speed 100 percent on the third layer that's perfect let's see nope that's not right okay so we have cooling enable park cooling fan speed 100 percent there's some settings missing here so let's click on that we have regular fan speed and maximum fan speed uh let's see layer time I'm trying to see where it starts at a specific layer ah oh, here we go regular fan speed at height we want to select that one okay there we go so this right here tells you it will start it at 0.3 I would start it at 0.5 that way you know for sure that that first layer is adhered to the print bed and once it passes the 0.5 millimeter layer height then the fans will kick in and everything will be good minimum layer time this is what slows down your print three millimeter at three second for cooling between layers is a little bit fast I personally go with about 10 seconds that usually gives it enough time for like bridging and stuff like that they let everything kind of cool down some supports if I was going to generate supports I would click this and let's see if our settings are showing up here uh, support placement everywhere support overhang angle 50 is not enough I usually go 75 I know my printers all of them will, will go at a 75 percent uh, overhang and print just fine uh, zigzag support pattern I like that that works out really good support density 15% that's fine support distance from Z that's too little it will be part of your print so I usually go 0.3 especially if I'm going at a 1 point or a 0.15 layer height this will give it what two layers in between before it'll start printing over the support that's that's perfect right there uh, support dis bottom distance 0.3 that's fine uh, support XY distance 0.7 that's more than sufficient and then I like to enable the roof and the floors that's supposed to print where is he uh, that's not going to show me 
there we go generate a dense slab of material between the tops of the support and the model what this does it gives it more of a clean finish whenever your your part prints over the support instead of just printing over lines it's printing over something that's solid so that's a really good improvement I very seldom ever use a brim I always use a skirt just mainly for for priming and I usually go three on the line count and then uh, three millimeters distance from the print and that usually allows everything to prime up good enough so when it starts that first layer everything is is uniform and I think that's it now like I said if there's settings you want to add there is an insane amount of settings all these that are not checked are settings that I have not added in yet and there's just an insane amount of settings you can do in this new Cura settings I have no clue <laughs> how to do now one thing that is different now they have fuzzy skin so you can actually have it where it, it shakes a little bit and gives your print kind of a fuzzy skin to it which is kind of interesting a uh, spaghetti infill for extra volume <laughs> there's just weird settings in here that I've never played with maybe I will someday and if I do I'll share them with you at the time anyway guys that's how I put together a quick profile um, most of the settings I have in here I start out with most of my machines start out the same way and then tweak them a little bit here and there just to, to make the prints a little bit better as time goes on anyway I wanted to share that with you, you guys have a great day take care and I'll catch you in the next one Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too. That way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.